This part of the video is on salt preparation for ionic precipitation. Basically, salts that cannot dissolve. We have to use another method known as ionic precipitation. So, the five salts that we use will be silver, chloride, lead chloride. These two chlorides are insoluble, and these three salts and lead are insoluble. So, when you have these five uh, compounds coming up and they ask you to form uh, the salt, use the method known as ionic precipitation. Okay, so we're going to discuss what is the problem. If we use a normal method, example PBO, a metal oxide and an acid, okay, what happens is PBO will react with H2SO4, you will get um, PBSO4 plus H2O, means salt plus water, but the complication comes in this form. So you get a reaction like that. The complication comes in this form. The outer layer of the PBO that is will react with the acid and what happens is you will get an insoluble layer of PBSO4. The PBSO4 insoluble layer will prevent further reaction, prevents PBO from further reacting with the acid. So what happens is the whole thing, you cannot ensure that PBO, the entire PBO will form PBSO4. You will have a contaminant of PBO inside. Okay, the solution. Okay, and that is not good. And there is no way to get rid of the insoluble layer and ensure. So, how do we solve it? We solve it by using a, a puzzle box like this. So, same thing, we always ask ourselves okay, I want PBF so far, how can I get it? So, you definitely need to add two things. One thing contains a PB head and an SO4 at the back, the tail, and choose something that will give you an aqueous solution of PB. So what is the easiest choice? Easiest choice is always choose a nitrate. Why? Because all nitrates, as you, as you learn in the state symbol, are aqueous, can dissolve. SO4, what should you choose? Choose a suitable SO4 that is aqueous. I have chosen is group 1. Basically all the stuff in group 1 are aqueous. When this, when PB and SO4 comes together in the solution, what happens is PB and SO4 will permanently join together to form an insoluble solid, leaving Na and NO3. This will remain a solid, it's an aqueous solution and you will get Na and NO3. So this will be soluble, this will be insoluble. Okay, so that's how you can get. And how do we get this out? Okay, we will use filtration and this will be retained as the residue. Okay, another, another example. Now, this is another insoluble salt. This is what I want. Okay, what should I do? Step one, put a separate this out. BA, SO4, this is what I want. So what should I put here? Barium what? is aqueous so choose you have many choice two choice you come up because barium sulfate is what I want so you can either use barium nitrate all nitrates are aqueous or barium chloride and here sulfate what do I use here same thing I use a group 1 again I use a group 1 sulfate and what do I get PABA SO4 these two combines give you BASO4 what remains is Na, NO3, and using the charge in the formula, it is one to one ratio, therefore it's Na, NO3. The equation is not balanced, and you have to balance it yourself. Okay, one more example. PBCl2 is, some, is another insoluble salt. This is what I want, PBCl. So, break it up. Let, all right. Lead chloride is something that I want. So I will use a nitrate and same thing I'll use a group 1 salt. I'll get the salt that I want. PBCl2, what remains will be NaNO3. Okay, so this will be removed by filtration because this is insoluble. And this one will be aqueous. This is not what I want. This will be left behind the filtered paper. Okay, we can wash and then dry it. Now, in a pictorial form, this is what the reaction looks like. 
if I want PB and SO4, I will use lead nitrate, sodium sulfate, and when I add in lead nitrate, it breaks up into free ions because it is aqueous. Sodium sulfate will break up into free ions because it's aqueous as well. And then what happens is when lead and sulfate hit, they meet each other, they will permanently combine and form something known as lead sulfate. Yeah. And then lead sulfate will form a solid, something that I want. What's left behind will be ions in the solution and they are free to flow and this is sodium nitrate. How do I remove sodium nitrate and lead sulfate? I use the process known as filtration and that's how I get my lead sulfate. Okay.